In this video, I'm showing you how easy it is to create a new notebook inside GoodNotes. Before you start creating your notebook, decide whether you want to save this notebook inside a folder or just directly in the launch screen. I choose to create my new notebook inside the videos folder I have recently created. To create the notebook, tap the plus sign and then choose notebook, the first option. Inside here, you can choose a cover and an inside template. From the cover, you have a few available options right here in GoodNotes standard. You can choose whether the cover should be landscape or portrait. I will keep it portrait. And now let's choose the inside template. Again, from GoodNotes standard, you can find a few options. If you click on paper color yellow, look what happens. The color background changes. So you can choose between white, yellow or dark. Let's go back to white. And I'm going to choose three column. And I'm going to add title here. Create. And I have my notebook here. The notebook starts with just one page. And if you tap on the right side of the screen and drag and release, you will be able to create a new page. And if you go to the four rectangle icon, you can see the thumbnails of your pages. Now there is one other way you can create a notebook in GoodNotes and that is by importing a PDF file with or without hyperlinks. I'm going to import both to show you how they work. Hit new again, import. Let's find my documents. I have them in Dropbox, but you can have yours in iCloud on my iPad or Dropbox. Let's go to the Dropbox, videos, and the simple notebook is here. There you have it. This is a simple notebook with plain pages, no hyperlinks. So you'll have to slide the pages until you get to the day you want. And also you can use the thumbnails in order to locate a particular day. Let's close it. And now let's see how it is to import a notebook with hyperlinks. The process is pretty much the same, but using the planner is different because of those hyperlinks added to the tabs, the colored tabs on the right side. So inside this notebook, there are six categories. Inside each category, there is a notes page and you can quickly switch between categories by tapping these colored labels. That's how easy it is to use a planner with hyperlinks. Of course, you can also use the thumbnails in order to duplicate a page from a category or to move around. To switch between documents, you can just use the tabs on the top. You have created three different notebooks and now you can start using them.